Jack and the Beanstalk. I like that one. Okay, Dewey. Shall we? Little Jack and his hopeful mom were poor and had no food. So Jack traded their cow for some magic beans to a man in the neighborhood. Plant them in your garden. You'll find a huge surprise. And just like that, a beanstalk grew so high it touched the sky. Wow! Fee-fi-fo-fo The beanstalk grew and touched the sun. fee fi fiddly dum I think I'll climb. It looks like fun. So Jack climbed up the leafy vines to a castle in the sky. But when he got there, what did he see? A giant meal, my! Oh. He turned to face the giant, a scary hungry man, who wanted Jack for breakfast. No. This was not in little Jack's plan. What have I here? Yum, yum, yum. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. I'm gonna eat you. Run, run, run. <laughs> the giant roared, but Jack broke free and listened to him rant. Lay golden eggs, you foolish hen, and don't tell me you can't. The giant pointed to a golden harp with the face of a sad, sad girl. And he ordered her to play a tune, then he shook the whole wide world. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant's work is never done. Fee, fi, fiddly dum, a boy for breakfast, yum, yum, yum. But the music made the giant sleep, so Jack, he made some tracks. Down the stalk, he slipped and slid, and headed for his axe. He chopped off half the beanstalk, the giant tumbled down. The hen and harp came down as well, and the giant broke his crown. Away from the giant one, fee fi fiddly dum. The hen and the harp escape that chum. Now the hen laid eggs that Jack could sell to buy back his lovely cow. And the harp now smiled and loved to sing. Have a listen. Wow. A party was in order, and all the neighbors came. Jack was very famous. Everyone knew his name. Fee, fi, fo, fun. Jack the hero saved his mom. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. Cake and milk for everyone. <laughs> Once upon a time there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. Hello? And she saw three bulls on the kitchen table She grabbed a chair and climbed right up As fast as she was able Yummy! Porridge! 
she took a taste from Papa's bowl. Yuck, it's much too hot. She took a taste from Mama's bowl. Yuck, it's much too cold. She took a taste from Baby's bowl. This one tastes just right. And she ate with a spoon, and very, very soon, she swallowed every bite. Look at those comfy rocking chairs. She sat down on Papa Bear's chair. This is much too hard. She sat down on Mama Bear's chair. This is much too soft. She sat down on Baby Bear's chair. This one feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart. She had quite a fright. Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds. She laid down on Papa Bear's bed. This is much too hard. She laid down on Mama Bear's bed. This is much too soft. She laid down on Baby Bear's bed. This one feels just right. She pulled back the covers and snuggled in And then turned off the light Good night! Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl And there's nothing left for me A Baby Bear was very Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been sitting in my chair And broke it all apart And Baby Bear began to cry With all his little heart Someone's been sleeping in my bag. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three very angry bears. Not so fast. Said Papa Bear. We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. Thanks, Mom! <laughs>
something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Fee, fi, ho, boy, I smell a little boy. Smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle up high. E five. Oh boy, I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away, but the giant chased him all the way. He climbed down the beanstalk really fast and chop, chop, chopped it down. Now Jack and his mom had so much gold, they were rich until they were old. They both Happily ever after, happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. Yay! Do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do, and it's my favorite. Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. Ha, 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 ha. Poor little red.
said Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay.
done for telling the truth, Mark. Yep, no more crying wolf for this boy. Are you 
you doing in my neighborhood? The lion grabbed the little mouse, held her up high. Please, sir, let me go. Let you go? Tell me why. Think you can help me? <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wow, you sure are brave. Oh, help me. Won't somebody help me? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion. Grab the rope and start to chew. Yum, 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 yum. Never have laughed at you at all. Don't worry, we understand. Let's just be friends. Are we cool, my man? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. Yeah, the lion. Little pig, 
let me in. Knock by the hem on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Huh? The house of brick was sturdy and thick. It didn't blow away. Sitting in Papa Bear's chair. 
the bears were not very happy at all. They went upstairs to find the intruder. Someone's been sleeping in Papa Bear's bed. Someone's been sleeping in Mama Bear's bed. Someone's been sleeping in Baby's too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. There she is. Who are you? Troll 
began to cry. That is the end of the Billy Goat tale. They made it to the other side. Now they eat everything they see, growing fatter and bigger in size. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair! I can never go fast enough! Oh, uh, that's okay, little guy. Have you ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? No? <laughs> I think you might like it. There was a hare. He ran so fast. He ran around the town quick as a rocket blast.
Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? <gasps> no! I want to pretend that I'm Little Red, <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Gran for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear, you're going where? He said Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart He knew the to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth you have? The better, my dear, to eat you with! <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat <gasps> you with! Oh! Oh! <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends! Uh, <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger! Confess, Little Red! I've learned my lesson now! She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special cheese. <laughs>